the Stock Market Morning Prep video for Wednesday, July 2nd. Big, big move yesterday, and again, we mentioned about mutual fund inflows the last couple of days of the month to the first one or two days of the new month. And sure enough, with the light volume, summer trading, uh, we just exploded to the upside. Uh, a lot of the indexes moved. A lot of big cap tech actually moved. Netflix made all the new all-time highs, upgraded from Goldman Sachs. So um, pretty interesting stuff, and, and, and what you, you want to really – be selective in your trading. You know, we all know that the markets are extremely manipulated by the Federal Reserve, um, and the markets are only reason why they're up is because of um, because of the Federal Reserve pumping liquidity into the market with their Palmo auctions. And you also have uh, market participants only really buying, truly buying this market based on the Federal Reserve. Uh, it's not cheap. The markets are extremely overbought. We've been up, I believe, off, out of the full maybe 30 days of trading, going into almost a month and a half. I think we've been down three days. Uh, so it's just crazy, crazy trading. Uh, you have to be aware of your of your surroundings around you while you're trading. Uh, nothing really makes sense, but hey, it is what it is. As traders, this is what we're dealt with, and this is what you have to um, uh, dissect and, of course, uh, put into your trading plan. So. Uh, definitely a stock picker's market, and uh, instead of just, I'm going to go through the indexes, but I want to really see and show you guys what I think is setting up for some good quality trades. And I continue to like uh, builders. Uh, we talked about this uh, yesterday and actually been talking about it. Uh, Lenar acts really, really well. Uh, you know, no need to chase. You know, look for a spot. Um, uh, I'm, I'm personally, if anything, I do. If I'm doing any type of trading, it's going to be more day trading, uh, only because the markets are extremely, extremely overbought uh, and, and and hitting all new time highs within, you know, 30, 40 days of trading is just absolutely absurd. But I do like Lenar. Um, you see uh, the Toll Brothers. Let's take a look at Toll Brothers. Same thing. Uh, BZH, which is a little smaller builder, but really acts well, coming out of this uh, nice base here. Ascending triangle, you could see from here to here, um, really, really acts well. And you have the Home Depot. I like Home Depot. I still like Home Depot. And and if you could see, going off of the daily chart, you know, we 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 came down from our highs. It's not making new all-time highs, and that's why I like about uh, building a base. I like the base building stocks, stocks like um, like here. You nice another ascending triangle. Uh, we have good support of um, economic data from um, from the home sector, so that supports continued buying. I like that. Uh, Masco, which is the uh, sheetrock, uh, MAS, um, it's looking pretty good here as well. Came in almost just trying to break out here as well for a double top. So these are stocks that I'm looking for, stocks that have based uh, some, some uh, tech CRM, as you can see, uh, just exploded higher from a nice bull, bull flag. This is another stock that continue to like, heavily shorted. Um, they basically uh, put this uh, cloud computing to dead. And then you can see here, nice bearish symmetry. We broke bearish symmetry, and now we're starting to break back to the upside. So you look at CRM, uh, Xilinx, uh, Xilinx here, really, really nice. And you see how we base for months. This is where, um, where what I'm looking for when I'm running my scans at night. This is something that's a great base building stock and has plenty of room to run. And I'll put some fib, fib targets on here once we uh, get an idea of uh, if this move is just a one-hit wonder for the day. But I'm, I'm scoping and uh, stalking uh, the uh, Xilinx. So another good good stocks. And, you, you know, some of the solars. Now, some of them didn't participate yesterday, but Solar Fun uh, had a nice big move up yesterday. And, you know, some of them that haven't, it doesn't mean that you, ha that you can't still trade them here. Um, SPWR, uh, nice trader. You see, if you looked at the way this is trading, and I like this nice little pullback to the eight. I think this thing goes higher as well. Uh, you know, First Solar is one of the bigger ones. Um, you know, it, it's to me, I'd rather be playing something else than First Solar, but uh, Solar City. You know, and, and when you have these breaks in the stocks, that this is what you want to be looking at and putting on your watch list. Uh, you know, what's this, maybe 50% of the move that has happened. So a nice pullback in Seoul City, that's also something that uh, I'd be interested in. Um, some of the casinos, uh, uh, the players for, in Macau, uh, they're looking okay. They need some work. But if you see here, 
Um, nice little move. MGM just sitting here. Another ascending triangle. Uh, looking for maybe a challenge of the highs. Uh, some of the bigger ones, Las Vegas Sands. Um, really nice. I mean, they're starting to really take shape here, you can see. Just broke out of bearish symmetry. Um, so I'm really liking Las Vegas Sands, uh, taking out the highs, uh, and of course moving higher. Once we take out the highs, then um, we'll look to uh, we'll look for some targets. When same thing is when you can see they're kind of the same, but you see what happened? They came off their highs already, and now they're basing. They're building bases for two months. That those are the stocks you want to be looking for. Now they're not a lot of them, but you can be you can still find them. Um, so I just wanted to make that point. So these are some of the stocks I'll be watching going into next week. Uh, tomorrow, as you know, we have a half a day. We have a big risk event, so keep the book light. Uh, and and if you know, even if you don't have to trade, don't trade. It makes no sense to get beat up going into a big long weekend. You definitely don't want to be doing that. You make a little bit of money, take it, take the cash, ring the register, and um, and take the day, rest of the day off. I think that's the best uh, advice anybody could give. Uh, coming into a July 4th weekend. All right, so let's just take a look real quickly what's going on here. Uh, it's just so funny. We have uh, markets making new all-time highs, really going into the stratosphere, but bonds are not selling off. And it's just, uh, th that's just something that really bothers me as a technician because um, we have another bull flag we've based. Uh, it just, th this, got, th this, is, this to me is a big signal saying something's not right in this market. Now, that doesn't mean we short the market. I've never said to short the market. We want to stick to the same side of the market. We just want to be very cautious, reduce our, reduce our risk, uh, and play stocks accordingly to what the market has given you for that day. Okay. But anyway, um, I do like uh, bonds here. I think bonds are in the process of a short squeeze, and I think bonds go higher. Um, and that should damper, at one point in time, will damper stocks. Um, you can see here from this 521 low, that we took it out. I mean, we've only been down three, four days out of 30 plus days. It's just absolutely insane. And does that mean that that's a healthy market? Absolutely not. It's not a healthy market. Uh, I do think that there's lack of liquidity. I think there's lack of sellers. Um, and you know, I, I, what, what my guess is that when you have um, sellers that don't want to participate, they say, you know what? Why, why participate when uh, the Fed all is going to do is continue to drive the market higher? So. Um, short sellers step away. I mean, and that's really what comes down to it here. Until there's a major catalyst, and there's always there are there is always a major catalyst to send the market one way or the other. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, diamonds here, playing, starting to play catch up here, taking out that one two seven two extension. Uh, so next target's going to be the one six one eight in the diamonds. We have the transports here making new highs yet again, uh, and again I just think this is total lunacy here. Um, and I do think that the, I do still think that you're going to challenge this area right here. This is going to be the first target for me, which would be the 50-day moving average in the transports. But again, we're going to need a catalyst. You don't want to be fighting it unless you're playing an option. If you're doing something with an option uh, for um, uh, for the back months, that's fine. Uh, but I wouldn't be just trading it to short it because it's uh, making new highs. That's that's crazy. IWM's finally played catch up. As you can see, we have three bull flags. Boom, we, we caught that uh, top, and I did say that we're going to be looking to challenge the highs, and sure enough, we did. Uh, so now the next step would be the 1272 extension. It's funny because we were lagging here with all the other indices, and I had mentioned I think we're going to look to challenge the highs here, and I got a couple emails saying, that's crazy. How is that going to happen? Why do you see that? And I don't. Uh, but when you have when you break bearish symmetry and all of the shorts are still short, they're going to have to cover, and that's just squeezing this IWM higher and higher. So now that we challenge this, I get a little bit of rest sideways consolidation. I do think the next step is going to be the 1272, pending no major uh, negative catalyst in the marketplace. Lastly is the Qs here, you can see. Okay? All right, guys. Um, let's see what happens today. I do think probably today will be kind of a slow grind higher, maybe sideways, going into tomorrow morning. And then we shall see what happens. Tomorrow we could have fireworks or tomorrow we could have status quo. Everything stays the same and we just continue to bid the market higher. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care.